A disappointing loss, obviously. Um, you know, if you told me that we were going to turn the ball over four times, I would tell you that we we're going to lose. And uh, you wouldn't have to be a genius to figure that out. We turned the ball over four times and we lost. Questions? Brian, on the two point conversion, mm -hmm. uh, was that an option or was that a straight run for, for the It's a, uh, we, he, he has the option to throw it or run it, depending on what the numbers are. We had fair numbers. No, he has. He, he's he's reading it at the line of scrimmage. If the numbers are fair, they were in they were in uh, zone coverage, and um, it was the right call. He made the right call. Uh, I wish we could have supported him better. Wish we could have supported him better. Uh, really proud of him. Proud of the way he competed. Um, you know, he was out there. Yeah, he certainly could. Uh, he played well enough for us to win. Let's put it that way. You, the two point conversion was 14 13 ago, I think it was. You were up 21 9. What, what was the thought process there? We were down 20. We were down 21 9. Yeah, to get to, get to within 10. Um, so we. Obviously, a touchdown and a field goal, um, so we wouldn't have to score two touchdowns. Um, so we knew we would have the wind, so uh, it seemed to be the right play at the time. Yeah, we didn't. We, we, we certainly, uh, you know, give credit to, to Clemson. I thought that they came out fresh and. Um, Aggressive and, and uh, made things difficult for us early on, and I thought we settled in in the, in the second half better. But certainly, they carried the play in the first half. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we started poorly defensively. We were tentative, poor tackling. We weren't triggering. Uh, you know, of course. You know, our kicking game did not help. We gave them a short field with a poor punt. Um, you know. Uh, but we did not, you know, th th there are no moral victories, and we can't, we can't go on the road and be tentative defensively to start a game. I mean, we've got to get off to a good start. After that, however, we, we played the kind of defense that we expected to play here and played well enough uh, defensively uh, after that first quarter, if you will, if you don't have four turnovers. Brian, the turnovers... That to weather to poor execution. I mean, why do you think that happens like that? I mean, if I knew, you know, we certainly uh, would have coached it more. And but you know, you're talking about veteran players and rookies, right? You know, a freshman turns it over on a kickoff. You know, he looks dynamic on one, bounces it outside. We make a change. Take a mirror out after you know. I didn't like the way he returned the first kickoff, so I make a change and put CJ in there, and he looks dynamic on the next one, and then uh, turns it over. Um, then uh, you know your two best players, or arguably two of your most uh, veteran and decorated players, CJ and, and Chris Brown. Uh, they know how to handle the ball. They know how to hold on to a ball. Um, you know they turn it over, um, and then and then uh, Deshaun tried to force a ball in there. We had no right throwing that in there. We had CJ open to the field, um, but you know those are our guys. Those are our guys. You know we're counting on Chris. We're counting on CJ. We're gonna have to count on him next week. Um, but if you turn it over, you're not gonna win games. What did you tell them after the game? The Very disappointed in them. We're not here for moral victories, you know. We're too far along in our program. We got to come down here and we got we have to beat Clemson, and you can't beat Clemson turning the ball over four times and, and starting tentative on defense. Um, no room for moral victories. Disappointed, and, and and what I said more than anything else, I was disappointed for them. Let, let, let's be clear um, in the context here. 
I don't want this to be taken the wrong way. I was disappointed for them that they did not seize the opportunity that they had. And that was to come down here, play a very good team in a very difficult atmosphere and very difficult conditions. Um, and very easily, if they take care of the football and start fast, uh, they're going to win the football game, in my estimation. Um, but started slow and turned the ball over four times. And final score, you lose by two. Oh, he, he oh, he had help. He, okay. Oh, yeah. He, he, oh, yeah, he had help. Yeah, it, you know, I mean, I, I thought they had a good plan. You know, they brought pressure when they needed to brought pressure. And, you know, we kind of sorted some things out and were able to get the ball underneath and get some crossing routes and things. But I thought they did a good job. And, you know, I thought Venables did a good job mixing things up. And then we made some changes and some adjustments at halftime, got our running game going a little bit. But I thought, I thought they, you know, they had – the week off to prepare. I thought they did some good things against us, forced us to make some adjustments. But again, I think if, if we go back it, the story is take care of the football. Were you surprised you didn't get more push in the running game? Your pass blocking really was great all night, but you weren't getting as much push in the Well, you know, we got behind there and, and really couldn't come back. I thought in the second half, if the game was closer, we were going to probably get the things that we needed in the running game. but. We had to throw it way too much and couldn't be balanced in the manner that, that we needed to be. I had an ankle sprain. It couldn't move effectively as, as we wanted to, especially we were going to be throwing it quite a bit. I thought Alex did a nice job when he came in. Anything else, guys? Thank you.